Blood Curse slash Tilu Dara, Season 1, Episode 1, Thoughts. This episode is called The Parcel. So, the, yeah, absolutely love this episode. Spoilers for this episode. And the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAC After Strikers, and I implore you to do so. And then there's some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So, let's dive in to the episode. So, yeah, great hook as we open on the the father, Bloody... Uh, I think he's, was his name Bondin, maybe. Essa's dad. And yeah, I'm almost definitely going to be mispronouncing the names. I mean no disrespect. I am, you know, it's not my, it's, it is not a language that I speak. Uh, let's see, this was, I want to say Indonesian. So there's, yeah, they're speaking Indonesian. Not a language that I speak at all. Anyway, yeah, Essa's dad, you know, bloodied. He's got a knife and he says he can't stand it anymore. So yeah. You know, we, yeah, clearly there's something big. And the eye first, like, starts to poke out because, like, the maggots are, like, pushing it or something. And then he stabs himself in the, holy crap. And, yeah, very creepy intro sequence with, like, maggots and... Like, there's one point where centipedes crawl out of someone's mouth, which is also what we see at the end of the episode, when Essa's father does, you know, die. And, yeah, we jump back to two days earlier. And, yeah, so, you know, Essa's father already has the, the problem, and Essa's on the phone with the doctor. You know, he says, I gave him paracetamol, I gave him ibuprofen, and yeah, we as the viewer are like, well, yeah, I mean, if that doesn't work, you need a doctor. That's, that, you know, what else is he going to have around the house? What else is he going to get, like, over the counter? And I really appreciate we see very clearly Essa and his father clearly love each other. And we also see that with Hulan and her family. Like, you know, they they may, you know, they, they tease each other, but they're not like outright abusive toward each other. They clearly do care about each other. And... Let's see... Yeah, and I'm, I am I find it interesting, there's this thing of... Right, I might be speaking faster through some parts of this video, because my back... Yeah. Um, too stubborn not to make videos. Anyway, so... Yeah, this, this thing of, like, you have Wulan and her clearly wealthy family, you know, they have, you know, people working for them, live in this big place. And then Essa and his father are clearly, you know, I don't know if they're, like, destitute, but they're clearly not, like, outright wealthy. And they're both experiencing this thing, so it's clearly not, like, specifically a class thing. And I'm, my theory is it's, it has to do with the wedding being cancelled. You know, the, the, at one point, Wulan's father is on the phone with someone that the others refer to as the witch. And he says something about, you know, I can't take care of your debts. They're not my problem anymore. Something like that. So I'm thinking she is an actual witch. She's the one doing black magic. And she attacked both sides of the, the wedding party. And, you know, may, maybe there was something, something about the wedding was going to help settle the debts. Or, or something. But yeah, I'm guessing we'll find out. There's like nine episodes to go. And um, yeah, you know, we see some of the, some of the, um, yeah, maybe it is a sense of be like crawling under the, as his dad's, you know, the skin of his face. And uh, let's see, yeah, and we, we, you know, Harun, the gardener, you know, is very, like, shy and, and you know, but, you know, we, we meet him and we see how Wulan and the others treat, you know, clearly, like, you know, it's one of those things where the moment that you have, like, people working for you, 
you know, today that a lot of people are going to look at that and say, ah, that's not, that's not okay. Nobody should be, you know, forced to, to work like that. And we see Wulan is very kind. You know, she is not at all insulted by, you know, and also I, I really, it struck me as shyness, not as like intentional disrespect. But the other guy did not seem to think that. But but yeah, you know, it's very clear that Wulan, like she legitimately does not at all seem to think of them as like beneath her. You know, she also says, make sure they get some, some coffee and breakfast, you know. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we, we hear something about a tragedy from 98 where no one was arrested and, you know... Wulan's father switches it off. I don't know if he knows something that we're going to find out he knows. It might just be random, but I'm guessing the thing from 98 has some connection to what we're seeing. You know, maybe it's a similar... They, they did mention black magic in the news report. Let's see. And... Yeah, and they do the thing where, you know, he likes to listen to music too loudly... You know, maybe his hearing isn't what it used to be, kind of thing. And, yeah, we see the, um, yeah, several of them. Like, apparently, Wulan's father was the only person who didn't hear the thud. You know, we saw Wulan hear it, you know, but now we're hearing, oh, yeah, you know, Mulan's mother heard and Wulan's, you know, brother, and, uh, yeah, just, you know, and they do say, you know, oh, nothing would wake up your father, so, and I really appreciate how far they went with the following, like, scare, because, like, Mac, it's inherently, we don't, we don't like seeing him. You know, nobody wants to be that close to maggots. They are a bad omen, even if you don't believe in black magic. So they could have just shown the maggots, and we would have been like, this. But she almost puts the toast in her mouth, and then we see it, like, crawling. Ugh. Just, ah, I love horror so much. This is one of my favorite genres. So really, really happy to be seeing something so effective. And we see... You know, oh, they must have come from, like, there's this spot on the ceiling, and there's this dead animal, the the, the subtitles call it a civet? I, I don't think I've ever heard of that species. At first I was like, is that the cat? or But anyway, um, maybe, a, maybe a small monkey or something. Anyway, but yeah. You know, and it's like crawling with maggots. So just, yeah. Very visceral horror, and I'm here for it. And, yeah, we see that Wulan works, uh, you know, with investment, and she takes her father's advice and makes it, you know, personal, makes it feeling-based, and it absolutely works. And, you know, the client is like, you know, stop using these big English words, I don't, you know. So, let's see. Yeah, and... You know, there's a very breathy phone call and noises in the car park. So, some very, very nice classic horror movie kind of stuff. And, yeah, uh, Essa, you know, I've, was it a phone call or was it a voicemail? I, I'm not entirely sure, but Essa contacts Wulan and says, You canceling the wedding put my father in the hospital. You are selfish. You know, and and that is the the, you know, I don't think it was like that. Yeah, I we'll we'll see. You know, it, it's he he doesn't believe in the curse at least yet. So he's he's trying to find a rational explanation for what's going on. And. Yeah, uh, Wulan's father is very supportive, uh, you know, saying, you know, you canceling the wedding, it was what you felt you need to, needed to do, and, and I'm here for you. And we see more stuff crawling under the skin. Linkin Park warned us about this. And 
see. Um, right, and the, the bleeding from the eyes, just yeesh, really, really stuff that that gets to you. And you know, Wulan's in the shower, and it turns off unexpectedly, and. Yeah, you know, she waits like a couple of seconds and like, I mean, if the water isn't coming back within just, yeah, you know, go go check on it or something. She walks out and we just see the floor and several maggots drop out of the shower. Just, ugh. Let's see. And, yeah, Wulan's brother is studying and taking pills to, to keep up. So, and, and, you know, he insists as soon as the studying is done... He won't keep taking pills, and you know there's also this thing. Don't, don't bother trying to hide it. I know you're taking the pills. And let's see. Right, and and I like that Ulan's father and brother like play video games together, which is yeah, you know, like that used to be. It used to be oh, parents are just completely against video games, but. You know, we've reached a point where a lot, not all, but a lot of, you know, parents and grandparents, they just realize, I mean, it's fun. It's, it's you know, it's just the next level of, like, board game and that sort of thing. And, you know, not, not only, but for just, yeah. And, yeah, and we see there's maggots in the lamb chop. So it is clearly, you know, it's going beyond just this couldn't be happening naturally. And we're told that some mucus came out of a person's leg. It just, ugh. And it's such a, like, so I'm not 100% certain about his age, but he's maybe, like, in high school or college, and he's, like, at the dinner table talking about mucus coming out of someone's leg yeah that's a very for 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 that age and that that kind of yeah and for being a, a guy very credible and yeah they talk about you know there's black magic a curse and the Wulan's mother points out you know maggots are seen as a sign of black magic they take a selfie, and a bat flies at the window, which, yeah, I don't, I'm not going to make a huge thing out of it. I will say that was not the most convincing effect. That was probably really the only effect in this entire episode that I just didn't quite buy. It's not the only CG shot. You know the the crawling under the the face. I'm I'm I suppose could it be done with bladders and makeup? A anyway, but it was it was the only effect that wasn't convincing. And Essa's father says, you know, I've tried to live a good life, but it was not enough to escape this. So you know he has some idea of what's going on, but Essa doesn't believe that it's supernatural. And Wulan's father has maggots on hand. And then a hole for just, yeah, it's, it's spreading very fast. And then we see Essa's father, like, of, I, is it a centipede or something crawling from, like, his nose into his mouth? And, like, the eye, like, has bugs. It just really, really such, such nasty, gnarly, disgusting stuff, and I'm here for it. And let's see. The, yeah, by the end of the episode, we are caught up to the opening of the episode, and after, you know, yeah, so he, he stabs his eye, digs it out, drops the knife, and the eyes just, the eyeball is just sitting there, and he falls over the the thing and lands and then some some centipedes crawl out of several of his face holes so just yeah really really you know i'm hooked i definitely gotta see what happens next in the if yeah 
Um, I don't think I really have anything else to add. But yeah, uh, over the next 10 weeks or so, I will be doing all 10 episodes of this show. And I just realized, I did, yeah, in case you've watched this far and you have absolutely no idea what this is, um, the show is on Disney Plus, at least in some uh, places. It's a, uh, let's see, it's a TV miniseries, uh, as mentioned, from Indonesia. Uh, the, the, let's see, yeah, it aired earlier this year. And, uh, let's see, yeah, it looks like it was always a streaming show, never TV, but yeah. Um... Let's see, next week, I'm thinking, this might change, but if I had to guess, I would say it will be Tuesday of next week that I do the next episode. But it will definitely be sometime next week, and yeah, very, very, very excited to see what, what happens next. So, yeah, until then... I'm going to be ch checking my food extra careful for maggots for the time being, just in case.